Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna make a wonderful Mandarin creme brulee. Hey, it's Kyle from Kyle's Creations, here to make simple and healthy recipes for everyday living. If you're new now and you love to get creative with cooking, hit that subscribe button right now and let's get started. Creme brulee in French, literally in English, translates to burnt cream. So that's what we're gonna be making, starting off with a custard. First, we're gonna go in with two cups of ultra pasteurized heavy cream. So now we're gonna use the mandarin orange. So mandarin orange comes from China, sweeter, less tart than a regular orange. So we're gonna just use some zest. So this one's especially ripe, so I don't have to peel so hard on this. And I'm just gonna cut this in half. Just carefully squeeze out some juice. Just gonna squeeze it upside down. Typically you mix the egg yolks with the sugar, but I'm just gonna add it to the heavy cream. It makes this easier. It's gonna go into the oven and it's gonna bake as a custard, so there's really no need to whip up the egg yolks with the sugar, All right? And now for our warming spices, you guys know, if you guys wanna know any more information about the ingredients or seasonings that I use, especially uh, cardamom and ground ginger, click my WebMD links in the description box below. So cardamom is going in, ground ginger is going in, and finally a pinch of salt. Just get in there. Just give this a quick stir. And now you could flavor this with any other sort of fruits or cocoa powder or other flavorings that you'd like. This is just my own take. And of course, the classic creme brulee is just using some vanilla extract and sugar. I have vanilla extract right here, if you can find vanilla bean. But now I have vanilla extract, so I'm not gonna add it right now. Uh, you'll actually lose some of the vanilla flavorings. Now we're gonna go to our pot, and we're just gonna warm this up, just till it's hot. All right, I have my egg yolks right here. Just gonna separate the yolks from the whites. Hands are clean, so we're just gonna wash them after this. Fourth egg yolk is going in. Now, so we don't forget, just add the vanilla extract to the egg yolks. All right, I just have a pot of water here. We're gonna use this as some hot water to create a water bath that we're then gonna add to this Pyrex. And then just before that, we're gonna fill these up with that flavored custard cream. Okay, it's hot. I'm just gonna shut this off. I'm just gonna add a little bit right now. So we don't cook the egg yolks. And stir that up. Okay, it's tempered now, so we don't make scrambled eggs. Now we're gonna add all that wonderful mandarin orange flavored cream. Now I'm just gonna squeeze out any of that extra orange zest flavor that's hiding in my strainer. See, there's no cooked egg. So there's many different style of ramekin containers that are oven safe that you can purchase online. These are about, you could fit about six ounces of liquid in this. And use it for other types of custards. And actually, the, there's a running story that in 1691, the creme brulee was found in a French cooking book. But the Spaniards and the Italians also have claims to, and the English also have claims to having their own version of uh, creme brulee. There's a bit of backstory there. If you guys know more information about that, please drop that in my comments. And right now we're just gonna stir this to make sure all that flavor is mixed together just before we pour. And now we're gonna pour this carefully. And we just need to fill it halfway. Most creme brulee recipes put it in the oven at 300 degrees but we're looking for a slightly creamier creme brulee. And of course, this is also gonna be, have, it's also gonna have that added orange flavor. We're gonna bake this at 275 degrees for about an hour and a half. 
That's going right in. All right, creme brulee is done. Let's check up on it. See, see, see how it jiggles together? As one solid, you know this is ready. Pull out the creme brulee and let that come to room temperature. Okay, here I have a backup one. So now we're gonna use some brown sugar. Actually, not brown sugar. This is turbinado sugar. You can also use Moscovado sugar. Turbinado sugar has more moisture in it. So I had to bake this out a little bit so that I get a nice crust with it. And then basically brown sugar on its own is really just white sugar with a little molasses in it. In case you guys didn't know, you can always use brown sugar. You can always use white sugar. The Any version of a darker sugar is gonna be better for this caramelization effect. And what we are looking to achieve is like a nice glass coating on top of this creme brulee. So you have the wonderful creaminess from the inside, and then you have this wonderful glass texture when you shatter it. So I'm gonna take a teaspoon of that, and we're just gonna pour that on evenly. Take your torch, secure it, and I'm using this baking sheet inverted so we don't set fire to the stick. And what we want now is the blue flame to make it too strong. The blue flame basically to kiss the sugar and just turn it around. We don't want the sugar to turn black. And also we don't want, just careful, I wouldn't even turn this. And I would have the adults do this if you're making this with your children. Do one more layer of sugar. All right, guys, you guys, beautiful creme brulee, nice glass sugar texture. You hear that? All right, let's give this a shot. Wow guys, that creme brulee is so delicious. There's wonderful flavor coming in from the ginger. We actually balance, balances out the acidity from the mandarin oranges, but it's not too acidic because it actually adds some wonderful orange essence and sweetness to it, balanced with the cardamom and the vanilla extract. This is a wonderful, simple, easy dessert. Just make sure that it's fully set and you have a wonderful dessert only using about four or five different ingredients. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have two other desserts to plug in right now that are easy summer desserts, perfect for children to make, perfect for parties, perfect for everybody actually. It is a lemon chiffon cake with pineapple sorbet. The balance between cake and cold sorbet is a wonderful, wonderful refreshing dessert. And my second dessert I have is a banana custard dessert. This is unlike any other dessert I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. So check those two videos out after this video and take care.